Hey guys, this is a video I've been wanting to get to for a while, so before I go to bed, I'll, I'll at least do a quick one so you can decide if you want to get this when you see it at Toys R Us. It's the Gosei Great, but the Bandai Japan version. So this is another Japanese import like they did with Shinkeno. That's the Japanese box. They actually are different. Uh, the American one printed a little darker. It has this thingy, but that comes off. Now they look a lot more similar. But you will see they actually did change this a little. If you look at the front, the Japanese version actually comes with the cards that came with their, with the Japanese version of the Gosei Morpher. The American version does not come with that. I'm generally more interested in what's in the box. Here's the Bandai Japan version, and then here's the import. So far, looks just like Japan. That looks exactly the same. Really nice shiny green, I love that. Here are his wings. On the Japanese version, this actually does plug into the back, just like you saw on the show. And now we just have the headers. You really can't tell them apart. It's the exact same thing. Looks like the instructions are in English. And how is this different from the, the American version? Well, the American version, it is Zord Builder, so that's a plus for the Zord Builder line. Otherwise, this isn't my favorite Megazord. It just seems kind of, well, and actually, he'd he be able to shake like that? I'm not sure. A little kind of wobbly. That's not the case with this. The headers come off and go on a lot easier. Every single one of them has an opening mouth. Not one of these has an opening mouth. Uh, for this, you can't put the sword back here. You can put the tail in, like that. The neck does extend, at least, so that's, I'm, I'm glad they did that in the Bandai America. But it's, of course, not painted. Headers are very satisfying to snap, like that. Hmm. He actually extends. Push this in, and this lowers. Mouth opens. It's got a little snake tongue in there. And then he has this little thingy that flips like that, where the American version does not. It's nice looking. It's a much nicer display piece. And there are also a couple of Zords in Gosager that were not released in the US that were, of course, not compatible with the US version, so. Um, but I might go into that in a different video. I don't recommend this, <laughs> but, you know, I'm just saying. I don't recommend shaking it violently. Toy itself is perfectly good. I first saw this at Power Morphicon 2 at CS Toys, and they had one of these on display, and once I just started snapping these on and off, that was kind of it. I, I knew I needed that. I really can't find any difference. It's the exact same thing. It's an import. Uh, did they even change? Let me see if they changed the date or something. I did find a difference. This is Bandai 2009, made in Thailand. This is Bandai 2011, made in China. Japanese version has all these screws in the wings. And here, you can see where they would be, but there aren't any. That's weird. Huh. I wonder why. The only difference I can really see, there are a couple of screws that are silver on this one and, like, dark on this one. I guess there are some tiny little weird differences, but... Other than that, it's the exact same thing. And there's like, there's no weight to this thing at all. It's really, uh, huh. yeah. I mean, it, it's like, if this weighed any less, I think it would float away. And these are, there's some weight to these. But anyway, the, the main purpose of this video is just to let you know that this is the Bandai Japan version. It's nearly identical to what you got in Japan. And when I say nearly, I mean like there are some screws that appear to either have been replaced by I don't know what, or are silver instead of dark brownish. It works exactly the same way, it looks exactly the same. Same thing. Again, I just love that their mouths open. I really do. That matters to me. I'm surprised that at least one mouth didn't open. Yellow's is really a tease. You just kind of expect yellow to open, but it doesn't. You can get him at Toys R Us or on ToysRUs.com for like $78, I think it is right now. 
I don't know if you can beat that. All right, I've already talked way longer than I meant to, but I'm still gonna try to get this up tonight. Tomorrow we'll do our winners. All right, I think that's it. Please remember to hit the like button, please share the video, please make sure you're subscribed. I'll be back tomorrow with winners, and we've got lots more videos coming. All right, thank you guys for watching, and good night.